Welcome back to the Lost Survivor Guide with Lost producers Damon Lindelof and Carlton Cuse. We're just minutes away from an all new Lost, so let's get moving. The hatch was destroyed, but Desmond and Locke survived. And it seems Hurley might be the real casualty from recent events. It hasn't been the best run of days for poor Hurley. He gets captured by the others, but the others let him go. So he's probably feeling rejected. And he comes trooping back across the island and he runs into a naked Desmond, which is probably traumatizing in its own way, too. Whoa, dude. I woke up in the jungle like this. Like the hatch blew off your underwear. You want to discuss this in great detail right now? No, no, that's it. okay. I, I got something in here. And we get the idea that something happened to Desmond at the end of the last year. He seems to be able to know what's going to happen before it does. A little precognitive ability. Like, I know what you're going to say next. What am I going to say next? You were going to say, what am I going to say next? So maybe you should move down the beach just for tonight. We know that he told Claire to move, and then, lo and behold, lightning strikes. And we know that he knew that Locke was going to make a speech. Locke's going to go after them. He said so in his speech. What speech? They are the others. And yes, they've taken Jack and Kate and Sawyer. I'm going to bring them home. And as it stands, their friends are a long way from home. Hello, Jack. You know what's crazy, Jack? A week ago, you and I were in exactly the opposite situation. I was the one locked up, and you were the one coming in for visits. What do you want from me? I want for you to change your perspective. Jack, Kate, and Sawyer were in captivity. They were being held by the others in a Dharma station on a little tiny island off the coast of our main island. And kind of like Alcatraz. Kind of like Alcatraz, which is where they conducted zoological research projects. Where are Kate and Sawyer? They're fine, and they're close. That's all I'm able to tell you right now. I'm gonna make this really simple, Jack. If you cooperate, we send you home. Cooperate with what? When the time is right, I'll tell you. You tell me it. now. Patience, Jack. Ben is sick. He has a tumor on his spine, um, and Jack just happens to be a spinal surgeon. All right, then. Whatever you need, it's yours. I'm ready. <laughs> No, I think you misunderstood me. I didn't say I was going to do it. I just wanted you to understand how you're going to die. bad, didn't they? I'll bring you some antiseptic later. How about you bring me an ottoman? Well, you at it, I could use a blow dry. Hey, you got yourself a fish biscuit. How'd you do that? I figured out your complicated gizmos, that's how. Only took the bears two hours. How many of them were there? You OK, Freckles? Juliet is the woman who's been dealing with Jack. You want to guess what's for lunch? I'm not big on mysteries. Do you people have cheeseburgers? We don't know what side uh, she's on at this point, but we know that there seems to be this real heat, some, some real chemistry between Juliet and Jack, and it'll be very interesting to see where that leads us. I'm sorry for bringing you here, and for everything that's been done to you and your friends. We were desperate. It was all so we could save his life. He's a great man. We also know that she doesn't want Jack to do the surgery on Ben. She, in fact, wants Jack to accidentally kill Ben. So whatever history she's got with Ben, it is probably not a good history. I want you to trust me when I tell you that doing the surgery is the right thing for you to do. And Kate is being told that if Jack doesn't do the surgery, that Sawyer will be killed. You have to do it. 
What? This thing that they told you to do, this operation. What did they do to you? Nothing. Then what are you doing here? They're gonna kill Sawyer. <laughs> We're done in here. And Jack can see that uh, maybe she wants him to do it because she's afraid of what will happen to Sawyer. And in fact, Kate and Sawyer sleep but together. And that was a big event. And Jack sees it. It sounds kinkier than it is, but... He sees it on a TV monitor. That's a right. A surveillance monitor. They don't know that he's seen it. It was like a punch in the gut for Jack to see Kate and Sawyer sleeping together. Instead of getting angry, he actually decides to rescue them. And that's because Jack has very deep feelings for Kate. He's doing this incredibly noble and heroic thing because... He puts her ahead of his own feelings. I'll get it out. Your tumor. And I'll keep you alive. But I need to get the hell off this island. Yeah. He's genuinely afraid that the others are gonna kill her and Sawyer. And he sees that the only leverage he has through doing the surgery is to extract a promise of their freedom. Let's go. Jack begins the surgery, but uh, before he gets too into it, he does a trick. He actually cuts Ben's kidney sack. What happened? Is he okay? His blood pressure's dropping. Just made a small incision in Ben's kidney sack. Now, if I don't stitch that back up in the next hour, he's dead. This is the head start that Jack has given Kate and Sawyer because he doesn't trust these people. And in fact, he's right. Sawyer. Well, well, Sawyer. well. Look at you got out of her cage. One of the others, this guy Pickett, he hates Sawyer, and he's basically made it his mission to kill Sawyer. Get on your knees! Please! I will do anything you want! I want you to watch! <laughs> Danny, you there? Pick it up. Pick it up, Danny. Pick it up, dammit. I'm here, what? Give your walkie to Kate. Why the hell would I do that? Because if you don't, the doctor's gonna let Ben die. Jack! Do you remember what I told you on the beach? The day of the crash. Do you remember what story I told you when you were stitching me up? Do you remember it? Yes, yes, I remember! When you get safe, you radio me and you tell me that story. Jack, please. If I don't get a call from you in the next hour, I'm gonna know something went wrong and he dies! I can't leave without you! Yes, you are. Go. Yes, I can! Pete, damn it, run! You wanna die? My life don't need saving. Coming up next. We're gonna bring them home. Lost returns. Pete, damn it, run! At a new time, 10 9 Central. We can't leave Jack behind. 16 all new episodes and no repeats. This season delivers like no other show on television. Returns with all new episodes right now, only on ABC.